All right, so we are starting Chapter 4, Bandits, Episode 10. So this introduces bandits. The gold rush reaches its peak, but also attracts bandits to the area. To keep your city safe, you must arrest the bandits. So I cannot build on bandits, but need to surround them instead. To do this, all spaces adjacent to the bandit need to be built on. Once you've achieved this, cross out the bandit. Any bandit not surrounded scores minus three points. In addition, you transfer them to the next page in the next episode. Simply draw them on the same space on the next sheet. All right. Do we remember, is adjacent just, is that all of them? I believe adjacent means just up, down, left, right. Uh, da, 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 da. Because I'm pretty sure adjacent buildings, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just up, down, left, right. So that is what we're doing on this one. Really quick, how to play if you've not watched any of the previous ones, which if you haven't, I am quite disappointed in you. All right, so I am going to be rolling these three dice. I'm going to be matching up the dots in the middle. I'm going to draw that shape and then fill it in with that. My first building needs to be adjacent to the river. After that, it has to be adjacent to that building. If this symbol, where is it at? That symbol comes up, nothing happens in this game. I ignore that, and then I'm just going to draw that shape. I keep going until I choose to end. If I cannot construct the building, I fill in a circle there, or I can choose the end of the game at that point. These all give me negative points. For every tree that's left over at the end, I get a point. For every rock is a minus a point. Every empty space is minus a point. I'm going to look at the number of buildings in the largest group of each building type, get points for that. Uh, I do not get five points for being the first to build on the gold spaces, as I am the only player. However, if I do build on all five of them, I will get five points, and any bandits that are not surrounded is minus three. Add up, and that will be my score. So let us get started. So we're starting with a one by two with lines. I think we'll just go ahead, let's start right this way. One by two and line it up. And, oh, I think we got the square. We got a square line. Could start going up that way. Or I can come up here or I can cross the river. You know what, let's start going up this way. Get up to these bandits. I don't want to have to bring them over to the other sheet. I also don't want the negative points. Uh, we got a one by four with the filled in, huh? So that could be a one, two, three, four, and then that would start getting around that guy. Yeah, let's do that one. We're going to go down four spots. That covers up the rocks. Line it up like so. Uh, one by two with X's. All my X's live in Texas. Do I go this way? That's going to leave me only doing a one by two there. And it's kind of hemming in my X's. Or do I jump over this way? Ooh, I could jump up and knock that out. And then start bringing the... You know what? We're actually going to go this way. Let's start trying to get on this bandit side. Uh, one by two, filled in. So I think we are going to jump the river with the filled in ones. So we're going to go, let's go down this way. Like so, filled in. And we got us a one by two with lines. So I can come up this way. I can sweep there, but I'm kind of wanting to do my X's up there. I can do the one by two this way. To start filling in around him. So many options. Let's, let's go this way. We're going to do the one by two this way. I'm really leaving myself needing a couple, a couple of one by ones. All right. We have lines with the corner. So I think we're going to do it right there. That way that guy is blocked in and we cover those rocks and it's a line so it fits with that so we'll just x him out like so 
Ooh, there's my one by one filled in. Oh, I should put it there. That way the filled ins are next to each other. Yep, a little one by one filled in, like so. Uh, one by one X. Um, could do it up there so he's almost filled in, but I think I have options there, so we're just going to do the X guy right there. One by two X, so we're going to go up this way with that, of course. Now I've almost blacked this guy in and that guy. Haven't got any gold yet, though. We have a corner filled in. So you could go that way. Well, I don't want to fill in those. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go this way. That way to get down near that bandit guy. There we go. Oh, one by two with an X. So do I go up this way or do I go that way? Uh, I think we're going to go up this way. Yep, one by two X. Give me a one by one X. Nope. A one by two filled in. Which we can go this way with that. Right, yep, one by two, filled in. He's not quite done yet. I need to get this one, I believe, on the side of the river. Which is a corner with the X's. So I could just forego those trees. That would knock out both of those guys and cover that gold. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Can't always keep the trees. Need the trees for other stuff like building the houses and whatnot. So X's, both of these are gone. So I got the top and the bottom guy left. A square X. Let's square this up right here. Gets rid of those rocks. And one by two filled in. We can just go right here. One by two, filled in. And I think we got us a corner filled in. That works out well right there. Get me some more gold, get rid of some more rocks, keep my filled in guys going. One by two filled in. Now this would be adjacent, so I could go this way to make sure he's filled in, or I can hope I get a corner there. I think we're going to go this way with it. And that way, I can start working my way up there. So that's a one by three line. <clears throat> Come up that way. That leaves me with the one I need there, or I can go straight this way. Let's go straight this way. With the one by three with the lines in it. And more. Alrighty, a big L with the lines. So is this what I want? So it's a one, two, three. One, two, three, and over one. Well, I don't think I could have that any more perfect. And thusly, so that covers up the gold. So I got the two gold in the corner, and I got two bandits left. So one by two with the X. Uh, I think we're going to go this way, just so we can make sure we get that gold and nugget. One by two with the line. So I could go over here because that, and that would get rid of him. Or I could go here and just forego that corner piece. You know what, let's, let's go over this way. Because that's not adjacent to any of my lines yet because I have that little X guy there. But that bandit is gone. And now we got the little L shape again with the X. So I don't think I want to get rid of any more of these trees, although that would get rid of that. 
Uh, that would limit me to what I could do there. I think we are just going to get rid of those trees. Like so with the X's. Because it does loop all these together there. I need a bunch of one by ones. Nope, we get the L with the line. So I could go down that way and leave me over there. Yeah. This way. I think I'll be getting some negative points from empty spaces this game. Because I've left too many one by ones. Oh, that shape filled in, huh? Well, I really only have one space, and it's going to get rid of more of the trees. But I did now get all of my gold nuggets, so that will be five points there. So I'm hoping for a one-by-one one or a corner so I can get there, or a one-by-two. That's not it. So I think I am going to not construct a building. And there is that corner filled in. And like so, which does get rid of that last bandit. And let me roll just to see if I get a one by one. Ooh, I do, a one by one line. Let's put that right there. Like so, do I get another one? Nope, so I am going to just stop right now. All right, so we got minus one for not constructing a building. Trees, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The rocks, I did not leave any rocks, so that's minus zero. Empty spaces, one, two, Three. Three empty spaces. All right, filled in. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Our lines is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And our axis is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This was not for me. Bandit's not surrounded is minus zero. So that is going to be. 7, 4, 12, 22, 29 points. I'm pretty sure let's do all the positives. So that's 15, 25, 33, 30, 29. Yep, 29 points for episode 10 in chapter 4, Bandits. Go ahead and join me next time. If you go ahead and subscribe to the channel and ring the bell, you'll be alerted when the next one of these does come out. If you also want to go ahead and like this video and comment on it if you've been enjoying this playthrough. Until next time, I was the groom fighting off these bandits.